Hi, I'm Braun. I'm a shade creator slash musician. And today I just kind of want to take you through how to get set up with shade, kind of explain how I use it and just help you get familiar with shade. First, I want to show you guys my samples folder. I have a bunch of samples and I just kind of throw them in this one big folder, never really organize them, but there's just so much, so many sounds and I just can't be bothered to, to be honest. So what you end up with is this huge folder with folders inside folders and more folders inside folders. And then you finally have these like samples. And I just had to click through all of these to find the samples that I want. This can get really tedious and waste a lot of time and kind of break me out of my creative flow. But that's where shade comes in. I'll open up shade and you can see that currently in shade, I have nothing in it. So I'd like to add all my samples. So what I'm going to do is go over here to the add new button, click add new. Then I'm going to add a folder and then I can add my samples folder just by clicking add the shade and then I'll start indexing. So now if we go over to this left bar, you'll see this, this indexing tab. Now what shade is doing is indexing all my files, um, as you can see here. And then because I'm a producer, I want to go over here to the audio section on the sidebar and you see that these uh, options have popped up. I'll click on samples and now all my sounds are being populated right here. They now have tags and descriptions to help me identify what all my sounds are. Now shade doesn't just help you kind of organize all your sounds and consolidate them, label them. It also has a very powerful search feature. So what shade does is it uses AI embeddings to accurately identify results that match up with your search. So let's say I want to find a tight hi-hat. Type in tight hi-hat and it'll come up with all these search results. And now I can click through and listen to sounds that pretty closely match what I'm looking for. Obviously you can make more specific searches, but even with this, it helps narrow down all the sounds that you need to look through. And you can just discover a bunch of cool sounds right here, all in one place. Now, let me open logic. Let's do a new logic project. This is the DAW that I use. Now let's say I want to make some kind of beat. Let's go over here into loop browser and let me just find something I could kind of build around. All right, this one's kind of cool. So I'll drag it in and let's use shade to kind of make something out of this. So one cool feature of shade is you can open up a command palette and you can just search directly in here without having to open up the full app. I hear a clap. So let me just look up clap. Oh. All right, so I don't have all my samples index. So I think this might be like the only clap that it's indexed so far, but I think this will work. So let's drag it directly from the command palette into my project. All right, now let's add a kick. Let's do a punchy kick. All right, I think I can work with this one. So let's drag it in. And then let's do some hi-hats. All right. And yeah, that's how I uh, use shade within my music production process. So thank you for watching and peace.